Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Andrew Rayner for Thistle Tavern and today we've got um, some more um, Disney Lorcana gameplay on Pixelborn. Um, today we're going to be playing some Amber Steel Bodyguards. So the idea with this is to um, use Bodyguard to make challenging our characters much more um, challenging, uh, much more difficult, um, and using um, efficient cars like uh, Lilo, like Rapunzel, uh, like Aladdin, to be able to um, gain lore quickly and have them be protected by things like Simba, Hercules, and then Donald, Goofy, and Mickey um, later on in the game. So uh, we've still got some control elements. So we've got Grab Your Sword, we've got the Musketeer to Bard um, to be able to draw cards when we play the Bodyguards. Um, we've got Fire the Cannon, Smash, and You Have Forgotten Me just as other control pieces. And we've got Tinkerbell just to be able to help sweep up in the kind of um, more similar uh, matchups. So uh, let's jump right into some gameplay. We'll see how this deck goes. This is a, a theory crafted deck, so I'm not sure how it will uh, how it'll work out. Okay, so we've got Lilo and we've got Hook. Uh, we don't need as much of that up top, so let's see if we can find... Yeah, that's about perfect. We'll go Lilo into Simba, because uh, it means that we can potentially uh, use Hook to uh, ink. So we're playing Sapphire. So it definitely means we want to hold the beast. We get to come out really quite aggressively here. So playing uh, Amethyst Sapphire and they've got a Cauldron. So yeah, this uh, the Beast's going to be really important here. But if they're not doing anything, that's kind of good for us too, because we can just get straight onto the lower tracker. They're... I guess they can have something like Rafiki this turn to take out the Simba that would be kind of annoying for us, but it's just a Maleficent. Okay, that works out really nicely for us. Um, I actually want to get Val... Oh, I can't do that, never mind. Uh, I think I'm just going to play out the Tabard. Let's just get it out and then we can beast the Cauldron next turn. Uh, we're already on 8. Beast gets us... Um, another two lore on the board and means that we can kind of play it with Rapunzel. Want to get as much value out of the Rapunzel as possible and having something with four defense value means we can kind of put a lot of damage onto it. Okay, they get to kill both of our things here, but we do get to take out the cauldron, so. Hopefully we draw another inkable card because I would like to keep the extra beast because this uh, this kind of deck is more likely to play a lot of items. So, uh, da, 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 da. no, I think I want to keep the bodyguard. Let's get rid of that cauldron now. Then hopefully Beast gets to take out the Rafiki and then we can Rapunzel the Beast. And if not, we just play Donald Duck next turn. So they've got still got four resources, that's just a visual a visual bug. Okay, now they've got two resources. They might leave Rafiki at home, Beast can take out Maleficent, then we get to play Rapunzel. No, we get to take out the Rafiki, that's excellent for us. Um, I think we want to play the Simba out, right? So... They've got so many cards, I don't think this is going to achieve very much. And we'll play out Simba as a bodyguard. Well, 
want to get these other tabards out as well because they do, I believe they stack. They're just getting their ramp on. They'll be looking for a Hades to start taking out our stuff. So they take out the Simba and we get to draw a card, so we're quite happy with that. They've got a queen. So we'll go up to 12. We'll play Donald Duck as a bodyguard and we'll play out Lilo. If they have a Let It Go or a Hades here, they get to tuck the Donald Duck. They get to, the Queen gets to take out the Beast, but we still keep Rapunzel and Lilo, which put, will put us to 16. Elsa. That actually works out pretty well for us as well. Because uh, they can't take out the Donald Duck, so they might just end up uh, drawing cards here. No, they do just want to suicide stuff off. That's fine. So we get to draw another card here. Yeah, we just want to keep going for lower. Play another bodyguard out and we'll play a Lilo to go with it. Make this as awkward as possible for, th possible for them to deal with. Um, they need to take out Maximus and then they need to deal with two of our characters. So Elsa doesn't I guess Elsa can do it, but it does mean they have to throw both the Queen and Elsa into Maximus and we get to draw another card. That looks like that's what they're going to do. So we get to draw a card, and the Queen didn't draw any cards, which is fantastic. That's an interesting one when they've got two cards left. Okay, the inking one. Ooh, that's a really good one. Now that we've got that, uh, let's do that because it deals with Elsa. And now they need to deal with all of our characters, and they do not have access to things that do that in these colors. Nice. Go again with this one. So we're going second this time. So Hook's a good starter. Definitely want some cheaper cards. Uh, we didn't get there, okay. I mean, those are just inkable cards at least. We'll lead on the hook. So this looks like the, the big items deck. It's like items combo. <laughs> It's unfortunate this isn't a Lilo, heel, Lilo here because it would be nice just to be able to kind of get a lot of uh, a lot of lore quickly. But smash the Simba, sure.
I'm going to try and play this. Um, you've forgotten me next turn, so I'm going to play out the Lilo rather than the Hercules in case we have to Hercules and get rid of their last couple of cards. If they're not doing anything. If they're inking to play a five, then I think I just want to get rid of their last two cards. We've got an aerial Who's It Collector. And then discard the rest of their hand. There's another Ariel and a Morris. Yeah, okay, that was excellent. And we're quite happy to lower both of these because we need to get this off the board. Um, this is the dangerous card out of this deck, so if they want to trade both these off for this, then I'm quite happy with that result. Oh, that's fine. We get to just uh, get value out of this fire the cannons now. They should be struggling to do much from here because they you tend to need one of the card advantage engines. That's one of them. Oh well, I'll, we'll we'll take a full new grip. <laughs> actually, drawing two beasts here is actually really good for us as well. Definitely want to take out the bell. I think I just want to draw cards. Yeah, we're up to plus six. Two turn clock. And we've got access to like Smash and Hercules next turn. Or Beast if they play an item that we need to need to interact with. But definitely don't want to uh, leave the scepter there while there is a ransack. Okay. Give them as few items as possible. Let's see what they can do to interact with us from here. Tinkerbell, so it deals with Lilo. Still on plus six. Got two bodyguards. Mars can take out Simba. Maximus is still looking pretty good there, though. Play a Fishbone Quill for cheap. Draw a card. Yep. Yep. This doesn't look like a game-winning line. Spoiler, it wasn't. Cool. 
So that's a couple of uh, good showcases of what this deck can do. Um, <coughs> definitely the case of Musketeer to Bard allowing you to draw cards when your bodyguards get um, banished off of something like Be Prepared um, would be really powerful as well into that kind of matchup. So if you had like a Simba, Hercules, Donald Duck, um, and then they Be Prepared, you're going to draw three cards. So you don't really mind so much when they're Be Preparedding. Um, but yeah, I think this deck's got got some good tools to be able to allow you to move forward. Rapunzel's obviously really strong, especially in those matchups where you're playing similarly um, sized characters. Um, being able to load up um, damage onto a Hercules or Simba or one of the bigger bodyguards um, and then just draw cards off of it is, is superb. So um, The You Have Forgotten Me, I think, was really important there because I think if they had that um, other Morris um, slightly earlier, then we'd have probably um, found it more difficult because they'd have started drawing cards and, and doing doing their thing. Um, but yeah, um, that's everything for today's video. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, check out our website, pistoltavern.com. We've got lots of new singles for Lorcana on our site. Um, we're updating the mark, uh, updating based on market value every couple of days. Once card markets uh, live on the 1st of September, we should be able to stabilize the prices a little bit better. But until then, we're just going off of the UK eBay pricing. So um, you can check us out there. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching everyone. We'll catch you in the next one.